Hey guys, Dr. Justin Feldman here, Feldman Physical Therapy and Performance, coming at you with uh, another video for some of our quarantined uh, climbers stuck at home, unable to get to the gym or get out on the rocks. And so hopefully you already enjoyed the last couple videos we went through with the uh, shoulder series and some lower body stuff for the hips. And we're gonna play around with the toes and the feet today and go through a couple drills that are really, really good and helpful for your toes and your feet. So let's get right into it. All right, so first thing we're gonna do here is we wanna work on being able to build that toe dexterity. So you can see if I kinda hang out here, right? You wanna be able to take your big toe and lift it up all by itself. And then you wanna be able to take your big toe and keep it down and lift all the other toes. And we also wanna be able to spread your toes out here like this. And so first thing we're gonna do is come on over to this step and we're gonna work on building some of that big toe mobility in that range. So, you know, especially if you're gonna use your deck, make sure there's no splinters in there. But so what you're looking to do is get that toe really, really up there, isolate that big toe. And we're looking for about 90 degrees here and being able to just sort of hold it there. So what I want you to try and do is hold it there for about two minutes. All right, and you know, it should get a little bit sore and a little bit uncomfortable. And we wanna really, really hold on to that. And you're gonna feel it kind of get a little bit achy, but what we're looking for is, at the end, we're looking to just sort of increase that range by just a little bit. You're gonna do that on both sides. So we wanna do that both ways. Now, once we get done doing that, what I want you to do is, I want you to find a step with a little bit of a ledge here, okay? And you're gonna see, right? I got a little bit of a lip and I'm gonna come up, all right? And all I'm gonna do is just balance here and then I'm gonna come down. And you're gonna find, it's gonna be really hard. You're gonna have to use your other foot to tap. But what we're looking for is I want you to be able to keep that foot level without having to drop your heel up or down. So you'll feel that it's really easy if you go up and your foot drops down right but i want you to be able to have that control in your toes that you can sort of rise up come in pause no up and down in that heel and then come down okay and then you're looking for about 10 to 12 reps doing that and then you're going to switch sides and what you're going to find is as you go in and as you switch sides right it's going to get we're going to find one side where your balance is a lot better and one side where it's not everyone's got a favorite side Okay, and you want to work on sort of evening that out. This is a really good drill that everybody could be doing at home, work on some of that foot strength. Now, once we're done there in that, okay, what I want to do is we're going to play with a couple other drills to get you going with your feet, and these are going to be walking drills. Great. So what we're going to get you to do now is we're going to play with a couple of different drills to get you moving around and walking. And so the way we're going to start off here is you're gonna come back and I'm gonna move pretty far away from the camera here, all right? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go, I, I like doing this as an outside activity because I like the soft ground. Uh, definitely make sure no dog poop anywhere around. But what we're gonna do is you're gonna come up on your toes just a little bit. You're gonna keep your heels really, really close to the ground. The grass is good, right? Because I want you to feel the grass push through the bottom of your heels as you're doing this, okay? But I don't want you to have weight through your heels, okay? And so we're working on building that strength and I want you to go backwards, right? And forwards and you should feel that your those heels don't go up and down, that grass just sort of covers and clips them just a little bit on the bottom each time. And the other thing that's really helpful about doing this outside is that you have varied terrain, right? Try and keep your head up. Don't look around at what you're doing. Don't look down at your feet so that you really, really have to work on building that balance. Those are some really, really good foot drills to work on. Improving the endurance and the strength of your feet is great for climbing. It's also great for running. And it's also just something that, you know, we spend a lot of time in really tight shoes, inside things and socks, um, that which is something we don't do a lot. And there's a big benefit to doing things that you don't do a lot. So give that a try. Hope everyone's doing well and we'll see everybody soon. Thank you.